What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for the Manchester City versus Huddersfield match analysis. So we're going to be having a look at Manchester City's emphatic 6-1 win. Uh, so we're going to crack on with the video just before we do, just wanted to say if you could support my channel, make sure that you subscribe with your notifications on. Uh, that mean a lot to me. So we're going to crack on with the video. So we're going to start off with Man City's strange uh, and first talking point lineup that they went, which I think was a 3-5-2. It was strange not seeing Raheem Sterling, Lee Rosane, Riyad Mahrez there around Manchester City's starting eleven. Instead, it was more like the Manchester City side that we were seeing from last season, if you remember, at the beginning of the season when Benjamin Mendy was playing a lot and very influential in that starting period. Very influential in this game too. But basically, you see Jesus and Aguero starting up front, which is always entertaining to see. Man City pack the midfield with five midfielders. The wing-backs end up turning into midfielders. We end up seeing three at the back, which can sometimes be two at the back as one of the centre-backs ends up stepping forward and it ends up having like a six in midfield at uh, times and it ends up being completely dominating. So, uh, yeah, I understand why Pep went with that one. It worked fantastically well. It ended up, uh, you know getting through Huddersfield park the bus type system that we was all expecting them to play uh, and it worked superbly so pet masterclass there only little twiggle I'd have in my opinion I'd probably like to see Fernandinho move more central I would then see Gundogan uh, move out wide and then replace Gundogan obviously because he's moved out wide with Kyle Walker because I'd like to have seen Kyle Walker but Kyle Walker weren't involved in this game we saw Gundogan not a problem with that one just saying in the coming games in the next few weeks we'll be seeing more of Kyle Walker if we want to go with a 3-5-2 then Kyle Walker and Benjamin Mendy are probably going to have to play as midfielders and if they don't want to go along that route then Manchester City might be looking at using an extra midfielder so players like Gundogan, Phil Foden I'd be expecting for them to get a lot of minutes but I understand why they wanted to pack the midfield dominate the middle and they did that and it worked fine no problem with him going with that again against Wolves next Saturday. So we're going to start off with the first talking point of the game. Manchester City went 1-0 up on 25 minutes. Kun Aguero, everyone was saying offside. He was offside. I thought he was offside. I was wondering why it was given. I thought, you know, it's very obvious that he was offside. He was a good few yards offside. But it came from a goal kick and I've been reading the rules and I learned something new. So I'm going to teach everyone else this. But you cannot be offside from a goal kick. Edison has got himself an assist at last. Been trying it all last season. Claudio Bravo ended up getting one in the Carabao Cup final. Now Edison's got his assist. Beautiful 70 yard direct ball straight to Aguero's feet. Controlled it. Ben Hamer, their goalkeeper, came into no man's land. Aguero lobbed him very well. Lovely finish. Got things going on the 25th minute in Huddersfield. Game plan kind of undone from there. Six minutes later on the 31st minute, Manchester City made it 2 0. Gabriel Jesus, beautiful 1 2 play between him and Benjamin Mendy on the left. Jesus finds space, drills it low at the keeper. Goes under the goalkeeper, makes it 2-0. Fantastic. Gabriel Jesus earlier in the match has missed a couple of good opportunities. And after this chance as well, missed a couple of good opportunities. So I'm sure he'll feel better that he's got himself a goal. He's got something to work with and he's got something to improve on. Which is, Man City haven't got a lot to improve on in this performance. But Gabriel Jesus will be looking to try and uh, be more clinical. Be like Aguero because Jesus really could have had two or three goals in this game. Let's be honest. Man City then made it 3-0 on the 35th minute. That was through Sergio Aguero getting his second goal of the game. So that's three goals in 10 minutes complete domination in the first half Benjamin Mendy drills a low ball in Ben Amer comes to collect it he makes a mess of it defense too slow to react goalkeeper too slow to react Aguero lightning quick just taps it into an empty net makes it 3-0 Sergio Aguero absolutely fantastic in this game and in the first half he was amazing then on the 43rd minute game plan for Manchester City after being in complete domination Undone a little bit. Long throw comes in. I think it came in from Billings. It was flicked on and there was Stankovic to poke home and put it through Edison's legs. Managed to find himself half a yard of space. John Stones caught just lapsing in concentration for just half a second. Got something to improve on for, for that. So, uh, yeah. Always things to improve on, so there's always something to work on. If you had a perfect performance, and what would there be to talk about? You'd just be there sitting in awe. There's always got to be improvements. But you can't expect perfection at this time of the season. I mean, we've players literally haven't had a full pre-season. We're two games in. Do you know what I mean? You can't expect perfection at this moment in time. But as far as uh, perfection can go... I'd say this is the performance, fantastic performance here. I was really concerned when it was 0-0 uh, uh, back in May, was it May last season? But uh, Huddersfield managed to hold us off, so I was a bit, I was expecting Huddersfield to be stronger in defence than what they were in this game. They weren't that strong, in my opinion. Uh, second half came about, 48th minute, City made it 4-1, Aguero was brought down, I think it was Munier, I think it was, that brought him down, it was about 25, 30 yards out on the right. David Silva thought, you know what, I'll have a shot. 
perfect shot and it's apparently <laughs> um, David Silva's first set piece goal his first direct free kick goal 49th Premier League goal for him he's one away from making it 50 and he was fantastic in this game before he went off weren't he? he was just making everything happen in the middle and he's just a superb player and it was lovely to see the two Silvers playing alongside each other immense I'm looking forward I am I really am looking forward to the season with seeing them too I hope they both get more minutes in the middle it makes losing De Bruyne um, that little bit easier for us knowing that we've got two fantastic players in Bernardo and David Silva then uh, some things happened throughout the game before Man City ended up making it 5-1 Aguero hit the post from around 25 yards out uh, just had a pot shot uh, and it ended up hitting the post very unlucky there then they had a lovely 1-2 with Gabriel Jesus Jesus uh, playing that anchor man was fantastic in this game uh, with that just needs to improve on his finishing really uh, and Aguero then ended up slicing it sending it over the bar uh, and it looked like it might not be his day but 75th minute came in, Benjamin Mendy with another assist, the assist king just drills the ball in, Aguero's there, finds half a yard of space from Congolo and just flicks it past the goalkeeper into the net, absolutely fantastic, after scoring his hat-trick he was then subbed for Leroy Sane, uh, but a great reward for Sergio Aguero, another hat-trick and another hat-trick ball for him to take home and he is definitely my man of the match in this game, 100%, I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that one. Uh, men Manchester City ended up making it 6-1 counter-attack again, led by that anchorman Gabriel Jesus, brings it forward, plays in Leroy Sane, he ends up controlling the ball really well, keeping it under his feet, Drills a shot, goes straight at Ben Hamer, ends up hitting Congolo. Very unlucky this one, it ends up going in the net. It looks like Congolo's had a bad game. I didn't think he had a bad game in this game. I just didn't think he had a great game. Uh, and Man City ended up just running him ragged all game. Man City just full of pace, full of technical skill, incredibly hard to stop. And Manchester City favourites for the title going off that performance, you'd have to say that Manchester City really are favourites for the title. But let me know what you think in the comments of that one. Do you think Man City are favourites or not? Do you think Liverpool are? You know, we set the goal out there now for all the others to go and see what they can do. So the Chelsea's, the Tottenham's, the Liverpool's, Man United's, Arsenal's, etc, etc. We'll go have a look at the stats now. Uh, I find stats very interesting, by the way. Man City had 77% possession. That's more like it, by the way, what we like to see. Huddersfield ended up having just under 23% possession. Total shots, listen to this, 32 for Man City, 14 on target. Very good, that, by the way. We normally have around 5 to 10, so to get near 15, excellent. Huddersfield, 5 uh, shots, just 1 on target, which ended up going in. I'm sure Edison will be disappointed with that. In terms of passes, 759 passes for Manchester City, 93% pass completion rate. I didn't think our passing was that good in this game. Stats are suggesting otherwise uh, Huddersfield ended up having 222 passes at a pass completion rate of just under 65% so that's obviously where the game was won and lost in terms of uh, finding their players Huddersfield had literally had no outlet just ended up just clearing their lines trying to make things work trying their hardest just Manchester City just made it all about quality Man City ended up just finding all kinds of space and creativity which ultimately led to us winning this game no, come, on, come, come as a surprise sorry that we put in more crosses more dribbles had more clear cut chances had more corners Man City ended up having more recoveries as we're expecting Huddersfield probably going to dominate these defensive stats but you know Man City ended up having five tackles three of them being completed which is very accurate from Man City seven completed for them from 16 there uh, Huddersfield ended up having more blocks more interceptions making more clearances um Similar in headed clearances though, aerial duels again, similar, you know, just as what you'd expect from Man City really, their goalkeeper ended up making nine saves, Edison literally two things to do in this game should I say, first was to have his assist, well done on Edison, second was for him to pick the ball out of the net, but there we go, so I'd say that pretty much sums up the game nicely with the stats, showing Man City with complete domination of this game, so to summarise, 6-1 for Manchester City, excellent win, three points out of uh, three on offer, always going to take that one. Huddersfield, they've got a lot of hard work to do if they're going to stay up this season. Like I said, defensively they weren't that great going forward, they looked uh, okay at times. Working the set pieces, doing what I was expecting Huddersfield to do and did it well. It's just the defence wasn't there, they was allowing too much space for Manchester City. They've got a lot of hard work, but the season isn't going to be defined on games against Manchester City and games against Manchester United, Chelsea, etc, etc. The season's going to be decided when they face teams that are going to be down there at the end of the season. So they've got a lot of hard work to do if they're going to stay up. But they did well last season to stay up. Can they do it again? I'm sure that Huddersfield fans have got a lot to look forward to for the rest of the season. It's just uh, this game weren't with it. They picked up a point at the Etihad last season. Man City had no urgency there last season. We had a lot of urgency in this game. And the will to win always goes a long way. And that's how I'd sum up this performance. Man City had a lot of a will to win. 
Benjamin Mendy, excellent. David Silver, excellent. So I'm just going to drop in some names. Company was excellent. Aguero, like I said, just fantastic. My man of the match. Lovely to see Phil Foden get some minutes. Sane did well when he came on too. The future's bright. The future is blue. There we go. That's been my match analysis. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, leave a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, notifications on, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Check out my links to my social media in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out my email if you want to hit me up with any uh, inquiries or any sponsorships or any videos, then let me know. Email in the description below. My second channel, JSGC Gaming, and my brother's partner channel, Mix It Do Mix Holly Drink. I'll leave the links to them at the end of the video if you want to go and check them out. Like and subscribe over there. Go and check out my other videos, and I will see you all again for the next football and Manchester City video. I'll see you all then. So it's been JSG. So have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Peace. Ciao for now.